We have Red, White, and Blue 2014 coverage tonight. Prosecutors claim the governor led a criminal scheme that broke election law. Then more Democrat, Democratic candidate for governor Mary Burke releasing a new ad detailing the John Doe investigation into Governor Scott Walker's campaign. But after the ad was released, the attorney for the special prosecutor says there's not enough evidence to charge Governor Walker or anyone else with a crime. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval is live at 6 with more. Stacey, after the attorney for the investigation said Walker was not a target and was never served with a subpoena, Walker's camp, though, is now calling on Mary Burke to pull the ad, labeling it as slanderous. Prosecutors claim the governor led a criminal scheme that broke election law. The Burke ad features a series of news anchors talking about the John Doe investigation. Walker has not been charged in the investigation, which two judges have halted. A Burke spokesperson released this statement about their ad saying, quote, in the wake of bad headlines on two fronts last Thursday, career politician Scott Walker's immediate response the very next day was to attempt to obscure the fact that he has failed to deliver the jobs he promised. This is Walker's ad calling Burke's time as Commerce Secretary under Governor Jim Doyle hurtful to the state. state. Budgets that created billions in deficits and unemployment rates above the national average for the only time. The Friends of Scott Walker campaign calling on Burke to pull what they call a slanderous ad. A Walker spokesperson says the spot is, quote, another baseless attack ad on Governor Walker. In Burke's ad, a clip was used from an NBC 26 newscast featuring one of our anchors. Not so good economic news. Wisconsin ranking 37th in the country for job creation. A clip which permission was never granted for the Burke campaign. And that allows uh, limited use of copyrighted materials without getting permissions from the party that holds the copyright to that material. But the use is protected under the fair use doctrine. Now, Stacey, it was a little surprising. You saw yourself on that ad right there. What did you think? When you I have to tell you, I was surprised too. I actually got a text from my husband who had heard from somebody else that I was in the ad, so I had to check it out, of course. So now I have the question, you know, is this legal for the campaign to use these clips? Totally valid question, absolutely. So. It is legal, but permission was not granted. We need to make that clear. Permission was not granted for the campaign to use that. It's under the U.S. Copyright Act, and a lawyer in Madison who has experience with communications cases explained that to me. Under the Fair Use Doctrine, a group can use part of the copyright source without getting any type of permission. So there, there are any guidelines that they need to follow? There's gray areas. Mm -hmm. Gray areas, but there are some factors that kind of play into it. It cannot be used for a profit, and the time has to be limited. They couldn't say use like a whole 30-minute newscast. It has to be broken down in that 10 to 20-second clips that they use. But again, we want to make it clear, nothing, no permission was ever given. They use this on their own. Right, absolutely. I'm yes. glad we're underlining yes. that. Thanks, Cassandra. And again, just to be clear, NBC26 strives to be unbiased in our coverage of all issues, political or otherwise. The Friends of Scott Walker campaign issued a statement on the media coverage saying, quote, after the media's slanderous reporting last week, today's statement by prosecutors should serve as an opportunity for the media to correct the record and report the real facts of this story, end quote. Now, for more on this developing story, head to our website, NBC26.com.